Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Running the Love Outdoors, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of video on my channel, you know, I am a fishing channel, but I also hunt and do a lot of stuff like that, and then I'm doing a product review, and this involves hunting, but uh, really, it's a review, and it just, I'm really going to review products that I like, and that could help you. I mean, rod review and these kind of reviews, they're going to be two separate things. I'm pretty much going to review every rod I have. Because I just got a brand new Dobbins Fury 7.3 Heavy that I'm about to review. And so, but today we're going to be reviewing the Drake Shoulder Bag. Pretty sure this runs about $50. I may be wrong. Oh, um, but uh, this bag I got for Christmas, 2016 Christmas. Um, I'm not going to review a product that I just got. I mean, that I, I'm not going to review a product that I haven't used yet because I don't know if it's useful or not. But I've, I've gone on four or five blind hunts with this bag, and it's really helpful. And the reason I wanted my own blind bag, and really I could use that bag for jumping up wood ducks and stuff like that uh, on creeks and rivers and ponds and stuff. But I really wanted my own to store my shells, all my mask, camo, paint, and uh, chokes, all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to store my own instead of having to use my dad's blind bag. So really, this is this product that has helped me, and that's why I'm gonna review it. So first off, I got this. I got this bag in the pattern of Real Tree Max Five. That is my favorite duck hunting pattern. I've used a little bit of shadow grass and stuff like that, but I really like real true max five. I've used four and three also. But uh this is what it looks like, this outside of it. Uh I'm pretty sure it's waterproof all the way through. And so basically you got a you got a front pocket right here that opens up into a like that, and then you got a little bit of room right there. And then you've got a zip pocket right, it's going to be a little hard, right there that I store snacks in and all that stuff. See, I got some peanut butter crackers and stuff like that. It's a little snack section. Keep my waters and stuff in there. And then, this, this is the biggest part of the bag, and it's where I keep all my mask and everything. So I've got a thick mask. I've got a uh, duck holder, a little duck, put all my ducks on the end of it so I don't have to carry them each by each. Uh, and then I've got a little hat, Keep, kind of gives a shade, gets sun off of me. And then I've got some of my Under Armour gloves, my shooting gloves that I can use to shoot in. And then I got, this is a Max Prairie Wings, uh, it's a mask, it's a thin mask that I use for like when it's kind of hot and I'm jumping up wood ducks or any of that. And then I have Browning Quick Cover, a Browning Quick Cover, I really recommend this product, it's really good. I really wear my visor with this and then I can just pop it up and it doesn't cover my whole head so it's not as hot and it's really, this doesn't cover my head so it's really really great and then, and then I got three boxes of shells down there but I'll put five boxes in there and uh Winchester experts four shot three inch and then I either shoot those or blind sides and then you got let's take these out got three boxes of those in there and I still have a lot more room, so I could put probably one or two more boxes. But then, we got a whole container, you can see in that. And then we've got a better look at the zip pocket, you can see. And then a better look at this front pocket. And so, that's, that's all of this. And then this, you know, zips. Zips to cover everything up, and then you know the second second pocket zips, 
and then you got this front pocket that's uh, got some elastic in it. Then we got one more prop, one more, one more little carrying, a place to carry your stuff in, a little compartment, and uh, it's right here. It's a waterproof right here. I'm pretty sure most Drake blind bags have these, and you can open it up, it zips. And then, basically, I have my Invector, my Invector Plus Chokes, and my Choke Wrench. Got some uh, face paint, some more face paint. Then I got some ankle gaiters, and that's really all I keep in there. So, I'm really set. This bag really helps me out. It doesn't have too much compartments, but it doesn't have a too less. It doesn't, it doesn't has just enough, in my opinion, for a kid like me. And, uh, so, and then we got the bag. You can put this, if you got some hooks in your bond or anything, you can put it on a tree or anything. And then, like, like I've said, it's a Drake shoulder bag and real tree max bar. And then, I forgot to tell you that it's got some clips on it. So, you fully fully clip it to keep it as tight as possible and then you got a strap you got a big strap right here that you can carry and do all that so pretty sure there's no side pockets or any of that but this is this is a product that really helped me and that's why i wanted to review it for you guys and uh leave a like on this video if you like the reviews guys um leave a like if you want to see some hunting but, uh, I got good news for you guys. I'm getting a GoPro Hero 5 February, in February for my birthday. So, you're going to see some cool fishing videos. It's really too cold to do any fishing around here right now. It's just, the fish don't bite that well because they're not used to this cold weather. They don't bite as good. But, um, uh, you will see it around March. R really, whenever it gets about 60, 65 degrees and above, you will see some fishing videos. Uh, I'll make an announcement sometime when I'm going to start fishing, but uh, thank you guys so much. Please leave a like on this video. If you got any questions about the bag, drop them down in the uh, comment section. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, comment, and share, guys. I thank you so much, and this is my Drake shoulder bag review, and I love this product, guys, so go buy it.